Hey guys, looks like it's beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, there we go again. <laughs> Welcome to Grace Beer Reviews. Uh, I'm not back. I've always been here. <laughs> this is uh, Evil Twins. On, on Mobs Cafe Jesus or Un Mobs Cafe Jesus. However you want to pronounce that. Uh, this is uh, a 12% Imperial Stout. This is a huge beer. Uh, I'm not going to go into details. This was sent to me by Rico. I'm not sure whether he sent me two at the same time or he sent me another one at a later date. Uh, I don't think they date their bottles. Uh, well, I didn't see anything on this one. Uh, I'll take a closer look when I come back for the final tug and see if there's any kind of vintage or dating on it. Uh, I just don't think uh, that they do it. Uh, but it's a 12 percenter. It's going to keep for a long, long, long time. Uh, I don't want this to be a long, huge video. Uh, I did this beer back in May of 2016, so if he sent me two of them, I don't have that on paper where he did. Uh, this is brewed with coffee, so I don't know how much the coffee is going to fade over time. It usually does, so we're going to find out here in just a second. Uh, it's an imperial or a double stout on a pilgrimage. Commercial description is a pilgrimage from Immortal Craft Beer. We Tripped on these heavenly coffee beans, threw them in and created a damn good aromas, a thick fudge like body, pitch black color, and obviously only made in limited amounts. And the taste, furthermore, Jesus. And it's done, it says, produced and bottled by Evil Twin Brewing at Cerveza del Monsigny, St. Miguel de Balenia, Barcelona, Spain. I wasn't aware that he was brewing over there, too, like his brother. Uh, I thought it was probably done somewhere over here. Now we know. Uh, I won't go into detail. Uh, me and Jeffy, the head brewer at uh, Evil Twin, had a fallen out a little while ago. Uh, last year, early last year. So I don't buy their beers anymore, but I will review them if somebody sends them to me. So, Rico, thanks again, my brother. Uh, more than likely, he has sent me two of these at the same time, and it's probably the same vintage. We'll see how the copy is, uh, has fared. Uh, being in the bottle. So, without further ado, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about, so let's get it open and see what we got. This is a very pricey beer, $14.50 for one bottle. Rather freaking pricey. They really, and these guys really do some really tasty stuff. I'm going to go down the center on this one. Cheeses are buttery green, good Havarti Swiss, good wealthy chocolate dishes, amenities beef, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat, glass for the pint back or non tumbler snifter, oversized wine glass. I got my favorite snifter today and can be sold for a long period of time. Just be aware it has coffee in it and that will fade. And like I said, I'll look and see if I can find any daddy or vintage on the bottle when I come back. But more than likely, uh, Rico probably sent me two of them at the same time. Uh, about a half a finger of head on that pour. It is pitch black, guys. It's got a nose to it. Uh, I'm getting hints of uh, bittersweet chocolate. I'm getting... Uh, it doesn't say anything about being bourbon barrel aged. A little heavy on the alcohol notes, but it's a 12%. Smells very luscious, guys. Great big beer, rich roasted malt, maybe some black molasses, probably some dark fruit in there after it warms up. So let's give it a taste and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Very, very tasty, guys.
not super boozy. Uh, like I said, these guys do some really tasty dark beers and imperial sauce. Uh, in my humble opinion, that's their specialty. Very tasty. Slightly boozy, but it's 12%. You have to be into this style of beer and be willing to pay $14.50 for one 12 ounce bottle. So, uh, very delicious. Uh, I won't take that away from it. It is a very tasty beer, a great final beer of the evening, which it is for me. So, uh, let me let her taste it and sip on it for a little bit. Maybe fire up a stogie to go with it, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Maybe some slight, ever so slight hints of some coffee in there. The coffee's faded pretty big time by now, guys. Look at, look at the bottle when I come back. There's no vintage or dating or anything on there. Uh, for the price of this, $14.50, you can get a 22-ounce bomber of a bourbon barrel aged beer. That's probably going to be a little tastier than this. Uh, this shit's pretty high, no doubt. Uh, he makes some good stuff and he charges accordingly too. So, my personal opinion, I don't think it's worth $14.50 a bottle. Uh, I've had uh, Bombers, 22 ounce versions of a bourbon barrel aged beer that wasn't this expensive. So, uh, but it is, it's, it's a well made beer. Uh, slight hint of the alcohol, 12%. Decent beer. Uh, in my honest opinion, I don't think it's world class or outstanding now. It's a little too expensive and there is no vintage or dating on it. So, final choke. I do think it's a well made beer, guys. I do. And I do think that they make some very tasty dark beers. Uh, but it is not a 10. I'm not going to give it to 10. I'm going to give it to 8, the A minus. My, my numeric rating on this is a 92. That's where I'm going to put it. Uh, Beer Advocate has it at 94. Untapped has it at 4.15, which is in their A category also. And the 94 is their A category, or A minus category. It doesn't get to the regular A until it gets to 95 over there. And. Uh, 4.15, that's their A minus. I don't consider it a, an A beer until it gets to 4.25. So, A minus beers from everybody, guys, and that's where I'm putting it. A little pricey, no dating. Uh, and the guy that brewed it, it's an asshole. So, that's where I'm going to leave it. Uh, and I don't buy his beers anymore. Uh, but I will review them if they are sent to me. So, Rico, once again, my brother, I do appreciate you spending your hard earned money on this very expensive damn beer. Uh, it is a tasty beer, it is, a, it is uh, very well made, but it is too pricey for what you're getting, in my honest opinion. So, if you've had this one from uh, Evil Twin, this is their Unmas Cafe Jesus, or Unmas Cafe Jesus, however you want to pronounce that. Uh, very tasty, but very pricey. So, if you've had it, let me know. And until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.